Hey guys, it's Jenny. Alrighty, I know that today I promised you a Vanna collection update. That video has been filmed, it's not yet edited, but we'll just post it tomorrow because today I'm very, very excited to finally start my new shelving project. If you're already acquainted with my green room slash greenhouse, whatever, you know that I'm using and I'm kind of loving the IKEA stand, this one, which allows me to place orchids on a vertical level, thus saving space on a horizontal. However, this particular shelving unit has a limitation. As you can see, I can only place one row of orchids. It would be lovely if I could place multiple rows, but sadly I cannot. Also, due to the shape of this particular unit, I find myself having some issues with placing stuff lower. I have some tables, again from IKEA, but they're just so low they don't benefit from a lot of light compared to the entire shelf it's just very very low it doesn't really help me at all they're kind of wide i uh, find myself kind of stretching to grab stuff from the stand and take a look at them not to mention the vandas although i do have my helping hook it's just not working out for me all that well and i was envisioning lately a sort of shelving unit that has layers is wider of course pretty much it looks like a shelf and that allows me to place more orchids on them it's really important for me to make use of this area to the best of my abilities because this is the brightest area in my greenhouse. Due to my climate and preferences, I am pretty drawn to orchids that happen to be warm growing and highlight. So I want to use the space properly. And uh, the IKEA stand does not do it for me anymore. This one is called Soccer, if you're interested in it, because it's beautiful in a home with, uh, let's say, very tall windows. So if you're interested in it, I'll add the video that I initially made about it down below. I assembled it, you'll see how it goes. But today we're gonna unpack and assemble another shelving unit yet again from ikea i was planning on buying that garage type of shelving unit the chromey one i have to say it's not very popular here in europe but i see it a lot in your videos for those of you who are in the usa or canada it seems to be very very popular there i love how it looks like i just don't find it around here so i wanted to order it from amazon i found it there but the shipping costs as much as the shelving unit 100 euros shipping so no it's not worth it so i had to turn to something local and i found a shelving unit that looks pretty it's not adjustable like the other one sadly but i think it will do the job so let's head on to my floor and unpack it and there we have it this one is called mulig have you noticed how everything at ikea has a name even the leka the leka is called something with o Ol Ol olga no it's not olga i don't know something with o it's very efficient and i understand it but i just find it funny so this is the mulig stand and we're just gonna assemble it together you'll see it's a pretty big stand i only purchased one although it's not enough for my space simply because they have a version that is half the size and i was not entirely sure what i wanted the half one or another one like this so i didn't want to purchase it and then realize it doesn't fit alrighty so let's unpack this baby Okay, now I think we have a few issues with this one. First of all, we have a warning here. IKEA suggests, or actually strongly recommends, that we pin this to the wall because it can be fatal if it falls on us. And this is because this thing is actually very heavy. It's um, not like the other IKEA stand. It's not incredibly heavy, but it is kind of. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that today, but we'll see. It looked kind of stable, but you know, better safe than sorry. When my boyfriend comes, I'll see how we stabilize it somehow. So there's no danger of this thing actually falling. But be aware that this shelving unit is intended to be secured on the wall. So that's the first problem. Second problem, oopsie daisy, I think I need a friend to help me out with this, but I think I'll try to mount it myself. I'll try to be ingenious. So let's get to work. Let's see how this goes.
Alrighty then, so the shelving unit has been assembled. Look how tall it is. I was actually looking for something tall because I want to put there my tall orchids. I have some cattleyas and some stuff that are just so tall and actually wide. Hmm, okay, another problem that I have with the old IKEA stand. So they're tall, they're wide, they do not fit in the IKEA stand. Uh, because look at this, I am limited to height, yes, but I'm also limited to width. Those rings are not adjustable, you are constricted to the size in between the two bars. There we go. So if I want to put my purpurata, look at her, she has a sheath. She's a gorgeous lady. So if I want to put my purpurata here, I cannot. So the only place where I can keep her is here and maybe there. But then again, I do have other plants that I want to display there, right? Reason why I just wanted another shelf and I spotted my opportunity, <laughs> which I'll talk about in the outro of this video. And there we go. I assembled it. This stand is meant to be assembled by two people that help each other. As you could see, one of them needs to hold an end of the shelf and the other the other end. I didn't have another person right now and I'm not gonna wait for my boyfriend to come home. And I'm well aware it wasn't the safest thing to do, uh, but if at any point I felt that the shelves were too heavy for my hands, I would have stopped obviously and I took great care in what I did but I don't recommend that you do the same as me I just did this for demonstration purposes um, yeah just keep in mind you need two people to do this there's always a chance you will hurt yourself assembling this shelf is not worth it trust me so yeah don't take my example this was just demonstration purposes and I try to be as careful as possible I do this all the time I try to do stuff by myself and if I cannot cannot do them that's when I ask for help not the healthiest thing this is just how I am alrighty now the next thing to do is to clean up this area remove the orchids from the IKEA shelf I might just keep maybe part of the IKEA shelf. I only purchased one of them because I wasn't sure how many I would need now that I look at it. Oh no, two of them will not fit here. Or if they do, I will not be able to access that window. So good thing I only purchased this one. I think I will just purchase the one half the size lengthwise, not height-wise. It looks the same as just half the length. Oh, and somebody's making noise. Well, let's pause it for now. I'm gonna clear up this area, install the new shelf and come back when I'm done. You guys, this is beautiful. <laughs> okay, this might be a little bright for you guys, uh, but yeah, it's kind of getting bright outside. Okay, there we go. It's better, right? This is looking lovely. I didn't populate it just yet. I just uh, made sure to clean up downstairs and all of that it just looks so much better so much cleaner absolutely love this and to be quite honest this stand is not all that unstable remember when i made a video about the other ikea stand i told you i would be very careful with children and pets because that one is very unstable it's more unstable than this one i mean yeah it wobbles a little bit uh but really it's it's not like you really have to pull on it for it to fall on you and of course if you do have children and pets that can climb on this I wouldn't recommend it but this one comes with some fixtures so you can actually mount it on the wall alrighty so far so good I really love it and now I can see that indeed I don't want to get another big one I just want to get the one that is half uh, the length of this one and just put it there I think that will be enough. Look how much space I have here. I have, let's say two rows of orchids, three rows if I put small orchids, but if I put big orchids or white orchids, I have easy two rows. And look at this, I can put orchids all the way up until there. I'm not sure if I can put anything here, maybe extremely low light plants. I doubt it though. I don't think I'll put any plants on the lower shelf, but that's okay. I can use it as storage actually, because everything just sits around my greenhouse. Anyway, we'll talk more in the outro. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put some orchids on this shelf. Okay, so I've kind of filled this entire shelf with whatever was on the IKEA shelf. It's not full yet as you can see so now i have to decide what plant goes where it's gonna be a process but isn't this lovely absolutely love it the only problem that i have um maybe just an inconvenience the taller orchids there interfere slightly with the bandas so i might have to adjust the length of that little chain there or just hang the bandas to the actual bar 
or do something with the other IKEA stand. I'm not entirely sure right now. So that's why I'm saying maybe it's not a problem, um, just an inconvenience. I can still get them from there, don't get me wrong. I would just prefer them not to touch leaves, if you get what I mean. But I think that's fixable. I have, look at that, I have this entire length to work with. So I think I can find a solution. Um, so that's the only thing that bugs me a little bit right now. But other than that, it's so pretty. Let's get closer, okay? Look at this. It's just so white and so lovely. I have to tell you guys, I don't like transparent pots for semi-hydro. I, I mean, I do like to see the roots. Let's just see some roots since we're here, right? Let's make this interesting. I do like to see the roots of the orchids in semi-hydro growing nicely and happy. At the same time, I don't think I would like to see algae. I know there will be some algae, although I will try to control them. You know, I will keep a few orchids in transparent pots for filming purposes and trying out products, why not? But if I compare this to something like that, oops, look at that. Doesn't it look just prettier? It does. And I absolutely know when orchids get to dry. And by the way, this one fell out of her pot. I know it's an older orchid, it has a sheath. I wouldn't have messed around with it, but it fell. It just happened. I had to repot it and why not? I put it in semi-hydro. It's so easy and it looks so clean, really in semi-hydro in white pots like this. And by the way, the white pots are slightly translucent and I can totally see when I run out of water. So I am just so happy with this stand. It just looks so, so incredibly pretty, doesn't it? I love it. And even though this is not a specifically designed plant stand, I would say it works great. I love it. Such a good deal. Alrighty, let us end it here. I hope you've enjoyed this and it gave you some ideas. If you didn't purchase the other shelf, well, there you go. You have an alternative now. If you have the older shelf and you're rocking it and you love it, there we go. I'm gonna still keep it because I love that one. It was just, you know, too many orchids. Um, so maybe I'll arrange it for Vandas, who knows? I'll definitely add the name of the stand down below if by chance you're interested in purchasing it. And I hope you like the display. I personally love it. Finally, my greenhouse is starting to look pretty. So you know the drill, if you've enjoyed this video or you found it useful, just give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. A share would be wonderful. And if you'd like to stay up to date and watch more orchid videos from me, simply subscribe to my channel. I post five times a week. I take a break on Thursday and Wednesday. But if you turn on notifications, you'll be sure to never miss a video, even if I post on a weird day. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. P.S. This is such a cute hygrometer or whatever. It's a thing that measures temperature and also humidity. It's five euros at Leroy, not Leroy, Leroy Merlin. I think this is how you pronounce it. It's five euros, really nice. And it has a magnet. You can stick it on the iron IKEA stands. All of these stands are iron from IKEA. So they are pretty, pretty heavy, but also sturdy. Fingers crossed the paint will not chip.